how am I the expert on pizza? Let me tell you a story. First of all, I am American, but I am ethnically Italian. One of my grandfathers was born in the north part of Italy in the Piedmont region. And my other grandfather, who was a barber by profession, seen cutting my hair and my dad's hair here, was from Naples in the south, which is literally the birthplace of modern pizza, as you can see by this plaque here. I'm talking wood-fired, thin-crust, margarita-style pizza, which was in fact named for the Queen of Italy, Margarita of Savoy. But I wasn't born in Italy. I was born across the Atlantic in New York City, considered to be by some the capital of pizza outside of Italy. In Manhattan, you have Lombardi's Pizza, which is considered the first pizzeria in America, as you can see by this plaque here. Go there today and still get a great slice. You can go down to Little Italy and get a great slice at Joe's Pizzeria, or go to East Harlem and go to Patsy's Pizzeria. I've had slices at all these places. But I wasn't born in Manhattan. I was born across the bridge in Brooklyn. This is an old Super 8 video of my mom in front of the Brooklyn Bridge. I mean, I was literally born in the pizza mecca of the United States. Many people think that Brooklyn has the best pizza in New York City. You got great pizza in places like Grimaldi's, which is literally under the Brooklyn Bridge, Defaro's, or you can go out to Coney Island and get a slice at Titano's, considered by some the best pizza in America. But I didn't grow up in New York City. My parents moved south, down the Garden State Parkway, exit 74. And long before these idiots made it famous, I lived on the Jersey Shore. In high school, I hung out on the seaside boardwalk. I ate pizza at the sawmill. They have a giant slice, which is literally as big as your head. By a stroke of pizza luck, I had a girlfriend who moved to New Haven, Connecticut, which is just a short train ride from New York City. Of course, the home of Yale University. But more importantly, New Haven has good pizza. Frank Sinatra used to go to Sally's Pizza to get his pie. And just up the street from there, you've got the world-famous Frank Pepe's Pizzeria Napolitana, the inventors of the mouth-watering white clam pie. I didn't stay on the East Coast, though. I moved west to San Francisco. I became a Giants fan, and I was introduced to hipster pizza at Pizzeria Delfina, classic pizza at Tommaso's, and before Little Star and Pachis, there was Zachary's, Chicago deep dish style in the East Bay. But it was Golden Boy Pizza in North Beach that stole my heart. A Sicilian style square pizza. They had a pizza eating contest. I had to eat 12 slices in less than 20 minutes to win. High off that pizza victory, I decided to run for office in San Francisco to see if I could get the pizza vote. I opened my campaign at Go-Getters Pizza in Hayes Valley. And I want to announce right here, right now, my candidacy for the District 5 Supervisor. I showed off my pizza making skills in front of the cameras and the media. I campaigned hard for the pizza vote. I personally don't understand it, but I guess people in San Francisco care about other issues over pizza. I suffered a bruising electoral defeat. Despondent from my electoral loss, I wandered the streets of San Francisco for a while, dressed as a deranged pizza delivery cowboy. But seriously. I drank homemade grappa and ate pizza takeout with my Italian family in Italy. I drank his wine, ate North Beach pizza in the basement of St. Peter and Paul Church with the director of The Godfather, Francis Ford Coppola. That's how I know good pizza. For more food adventures from around the world, make sure you subscribe to our channel. As always, thanks for watching and happy eating.